The dark-haired woman was beautiful, even in death. And the moonlight dappled her naked body. Her name was Rebecca, the girlfriend of pharmaceutical tycoon Jonah Shacknai. She was 32. The way Rebecca Zahau died was strange enough. It was almost like a movie. You can't make this stuff up. But where it happened made it all the more bizarre. Having something like this happen in Coronado was just so shocking. Coronado's really an island with a bridge coming out of San Diego. You're right in the ocean, and then there's these mansions, one after another after another. And of all the beautiful spots in Coronado, the body was discovered at one of the most historic, the Spreckles Mansion. Spreckles Mansion was named after a sugar king. Spreckles Mansion has so many bedrooms, you can hardly count them all. Grand staircases. You don't really think of a dead body hanging off of the balcony when you ride by. Rebecca Zahau came a very long way to end up dead in Coronado. Her family was royalty in a remote part of a remote land, the country once known as Burma. She was funny. She could always relate to anybody. If Rebecca walks into the room, everybody remembers Rebecca was there. After the family was forced to flee their homeland, Rebecca ended up nearly 10,000 miles away in America. She was very excited to come to the U.S. She was very, very excited about starting a new life, and then she found it. Part of that new life? Her job in an ophthalmology office. She was an ophthalmology tech anywhere from rooming people to getting them ready for surgery, like cataract surgery, any eye surgeries. Did she like that? Oh, she loved her job. One day, a patient came in whose eyes worked plenty well enough to notice the beautiful technician. His name, Jonah Shacknai. Rebecca was completely full of life. She was a very enthusiastic person. Rebecca had no idea what a catch she just attracted. Jonah Shacknai was absolutely loaded. This is the guy behind Medicis Pharmaceutical, which is the Coca-Cola of the medical cosmetics industry, a company ultimately worth billions of dollars. Jonah, welcome back to the show. Thanks, great to be here, Jim. Shacknai was a star in the business world, known for his innovative products. Medicis Pharmaceutical found the holy grail. They figured out how to create something similar to Botox. But when he met Rebecca, he says the attraction was much more than skin deep. Well, we both love to be outdoors. Uh, we're both workout enthusiasts. We both like clean living, clean food that uh, just made it very compatible on a daily basis. The more he learned about Rebecca's past, what she went through escaping Burma, the more she fascinated him. But I just had enormous admiration for her just because they were running and trying to find a place uh, to have a stable life. Now it was as if Rebecca had stumbled upon Prince Charming, but some say their life together was no fairy tale. Rebecca Zahal's family was not keen on the relationship. There was no ring on the finger. He already had several children. Two teenagers from his first marriage and a little boy named Max from his second. Ciao. Max loved Rebecca. She was extremely attentive and warm, and she had no children uh, of her own, and I think she was a great influence on Max. They had their own love story. There was friction between Dina Shacknai and Rebecca. Dina wasn't crazy about the new girlfriend moving in on her six-year-old son. When you have blended families, you you want, I mean, no mom is jumping for joy saying, oh, somebody else is going to be, you Around know. Around your child. I, I thought we had a, a good working relationship together. What was Dina's relationship like with Rebecca? It was not a friendly relationship. It was not friendly at all. Did you approve of the time she spent with Maxie? I, yeah, I, did, I didn't disapprove of it. In fact, I would expect it, which is the reason that I wanted to meet her, so that she and I would have a good relationship so that Max would feel like it was okay. Uh, they were not close. Um, I think there were times when uh, Dina uh, made it a bit difficult for Rebecca. But no one could have imagined just how difficult things were about to become. 
It was July the 11th, it was in the morning. Jonah, Shaq, and I had already gone to work out at a nearby gym. And Rebecca was in the house with her little sister, Zena. She happened to be visiting. Zena's in one part of the home, Rebecca is in another part of the home, Max is on the second floor, and he's playing. When something awful happened. 911, where's your emergency? Rebecca's sister, Zena, called 911. She fell down the stairs. He's not breathing. Somehow, six-year-old Max had taken a horrific fall, which neither Rebecca nor Zena saw. Rebecca called Jonah. I sprinted into the house and uh, saw Max uh, lay on the floor. When I first saw him, he had tubes, you know, coming out of every orifice in his body. For any parent, you see your son like that, you know, I just thought, wow. Did she ever tell you how he had the accident? I said, what happened? And she said, I really don't know. You know, I mean, when I came out, she was, he was there on the floor. She's like, Dina's going to kill me. And I said, what do you mean? She's like, well, she's going to kill me. And she kind of repeated it several times. During the family emergency, the parents held vigil by Max's bedside. And the next day, Jonah's brother, Adam, flew in from Tennessee. Adam came to be with us and to be of whatever support he could. Anyone that's uh, had a child with a grave injury understands that it's uh, the loneliest place on earth. Adam Shaknai was in the guest house. Rebecca was at home. Those were the only two in the house. They weren't that well known to one another, but they were exceedingly cordial. Both good people that I think had all eyes and prayers on Max. But a bad situation was about to get worse. Okay. Now, emergency, what are you reporting? I, I got a girl hung herself. Okay, yeah. is she still alive? I don't think so. She was dead. Saw whose body was found hanging. She was nude. Was it an accident? There were so many questions about what happened to this woman. The police saw it on the door. She saved him. Can you save her? It was like a riddle. Nobody could figure out what it meant. She saved him. Can you save her? That doesn't even make sense. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.